Yeah, Sharia and Mike, you know, you mentioned where this all began. That's where I am along John Street here in the West End between John Street and Derek Turnbow Avenue. I want to show you some footage we got. There was a stolen car. Uh, they, they pursued uh, efforts to stop that stolen car. Somehow a shot was fired in the direction of police. Thankfully, no officers injured, but then there was a pursuit again uh, along Derek Turnbow Avenue toward uh, Lynn Street in the West End. I've got Lieutenant Colonel Paul Newdigate here with Cincinnati Police Department. I want to have him briefly explain what little we know about what transpired here. We have more reporting coming from the other direction, but Lieutenant Colonel, what do you know? Just like you mentioned, Todd, uh, we initiated a traffic pursuit of a stolen vehicle. We attempted to stop it. They attempted to elude. We pursued uh, sometime during that pursuit. A gun was fired from within the vehicle. Uh, officers believed that they were possibly being shot at. Uh, they continued to pursue. The gun was ditched out. Uh, we recovered it just down the street. Continued to pursue down off of Lynn Street. Uh, took several individuals in custody. And now it's all about the investigation, trying to determine exactly what occurred. And that investigation underway, and thankfully, as I mentioned, no officers injured during this situation? Uh, no injuries to anybody right now, which is a great thing. No officers, uh, no suspects, and uh, now it's just a matter of figuring it out and uh, the appropriate charges for those involved. Appreciate your time. Thank You're you, welcome. sir. Lieutenant Colonel Paul Newdigate, and again, and just a scene setter here, but also John Street, basically right behind Stargill Stadium uh, here at Taft High School. So not a good set of uh, events that transpired, but at least no one hurt. For now, reporting live in the West End, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Todd, thanks so much. WLWT News 5's Curtis Fuller is live on the scene where that car crashed. Curtis. Yeah, Mike, this is right at the uh, intersection here of Derek Turnbow and Lynn Street. And as you can see right behind me, it is also the site of the Cincinnati College Prep Academy. Now, let's show you some video earlier because that's where this car came. It, it happened right at dismissal. And you can imagine how disruptive that was. But I tell you, the folks here at the school did a great job of getting kids back into the school and putting things on lockdown. But again, the car came here and, and then the people inside jumped out of the car, did not put it in park. And so it was drifting out. A security guard at the school saw that and then hopped in the car and put it in park. But it also then hit a car. A family was in that car, a man and a woman inside the car with two children in the back seat. That vehicle actually hit their car. We were talking to them. They saw the whole thing. Yeah, they got in. They got out and take off. I jumped in the car and Officer Brown and the um, officer detained the other guys as I put them in park so it wouldn't run over nobody else or hit any other cars. He had his door open. They was throwing something out and then he turned and came into the drive of the school, hit the back of our car, and then he bailed out of the car and the car kept going on through the parking lot a little ways. And then next thing you know, there was 100 cops showed up and they were chasing him on foot. Back live now, yes, this area was swarming with cops. And as you can see, I'm going to ask Greg to just show you the scene here live. Uh, there are cops still here. Uh, they have the uh, vehicle there is, is a dark color Nissan that they are now going over with Prince. We're told that they have four people in custody. Again, as Todd mentioned, the good thing is that no one was hit. Uh, police tell me that they did recover uh, a weapon. And so uh, they are uh, going over this scene, talking to the people who hopped out of that car. Of course, we're going to stay down here and have much more for you throughout the newscast. Reporting live in the West End, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.